Hey, MP, uh, you busy? Something just came up I could use your help with. MP, I want to chat with you for a minute. What's up, coach? I've just been reading in the press how we're facing a guy tonight that many people are saying is deserving of some hardware at the end of the season. Even more deserving than you. Coach, coach, you know I don't pay that kind of talk no mind. Well, I kind of wish you would. We need you to take this game personally. Okay, okay. All right, I want you to shut him down. Leave no doubt who the top dog is in any award race. I can do that. I know you can. Now go show everybody else. Feeling you, MP. Looking at both of these teams, Richard, both great passing squads, two of the better assist teams in the NBA. This is how basketball was intended to be played. A team offense making the extra pass, moving the ball. This is the type of basketball that basketball people love to watch. Well, it's a beautiful brand of ball for sure, just a joy to watch. All right, let's check out San Antonio's starting lineup. We've got Alfred Payton. Also, Devin Vassell out there. Yaka Pertl out there with Doug McDermott. Now here's Vassell. Outside Payton. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Here's Lights Out, covered by Pertl. It's James on the wing. Tries a 10-footer. Doesn't go, and he's 0 for 1 from the floor. Now Peyton, nine points in his last outing. McDermott outside. Vassell finds McDermott. Just five on the clock. Here's Peyton. And it's off the back of the rim, no good. Here's lights out. That one falls, coming off Davis' feed. He's got five. On offense, Davis keeps his head up and maintains awareness. That's how he spots a wide open man. Vassell passes to Pirtle. Outside Peyton, picked by Pirtle. And Peyton, here we go. Basket counts. Hey, 
That right there was a lot of confidence given the size of the disadvantage there. And I like his belief in his game. Go at the taller defender, make him react to you. Now, here is James. His last outing, he had 20. Pass to Davis. Here's Ilya Silva. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Right now, they're humming along. Three of four to start this game. Outside Peyton. Takes one from 10 feet. Doesn't go that time. And it's the Lakers the other way. And Anthony Davis on the NBA's top 75 list. Grant, do you think that was a controversial selection? Well, I mean, it was mostly due to how young Davis still is. You can't argue with the all-NBA selection and numbers. And, of course, being a recent champion may have put him over the top. Now here's Peyton taking a look at his production, averaging just over eight points a game. Pass to Pirtle. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. And the Lakers hit again from deep. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Outside Peyton. From the right block. The shot no good. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. It's James on the wing. To the left wing. Pass to Davis. And here's James. Here's lights out. Fires the three. Pirtle grabs a miss. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. McDermott, the pass to Vassell. right out of the air and controls it. Pass the lights out. And here's James, defended by McDermott. Elias Soba outside. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. Elias Soba's got nine. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Now here's Peyton. He's guarded closely. And once again, off the mark by San Antonio. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. Out to James. Shot from 12. Here's lights out. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Wow. <laughs> The Spurs have gone only two of six from the field. Outside Peyton. And a foul called on the way up. Well, Grant, we've seen the NBA evolve quite a bit since your playing days. How do you think you'd be used in today's game versus when you play? Well, B.A., with the spacing in today's game and my ability to slash to the rim, I think I would still be able to get to the basket, dominate in the mid-range, but I'd be shooting way more threes, and I would see more minutes playing as a small ball power forward as well. And San Antonio has possession. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago, Peyton's shot is good. He's just two for seven from the field, trying to work his way into a rhythm. Here's lights out. Give him eight. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He's got ten. Yeah, he's been having his way this quarter, attacking the basket and protecting their lead. Pass to Sohan. Now here's Peyton. Defense right on him. His sixth miss of the game. Just two for eight now. Let's just say his subpar shooting is just one reason why they are trailing in this ball game. Uh-oh. Okay. AD put a little something extra on that jab. 
That's not fair. Let's just say that. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. Here's Peyton. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. Yeah, it was just a little late. I mean, he thought he got there, but the ref saw it otherwise. Now Los Angeles with it. It's a 14-point game. Their last game, a win against the Clippers. Looking to carry it into this one. Talk about strong offensive production. They went out, played to their strengths, and were successful as a result. And no team is going to shoot 50% every night, but this team has the right approach. When the shots are falling, they can light it up. You don't want to let them get into a rhythm from out there. And so it's the Lakers with it. Pass to James. To the wing on the left. Ilyasova. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got four assists now tonight. Peyton with it. He has seven. Out to the right wing. Here's Sohan. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. McDermott against James. Oh, oh my hey, goodness. How wow. about that? The fact that LeBron James can still do that at 100 years old, like, it's a travesty that he never participated in the dunk contest. I mean, there are some great guys in this league. Coach Greg Popovich sticks out. Just a tremendous person. I loved competing against his teams. Peyton, no good. Peyton's gone 3 of 10 shooting, so only 30%. Back to James. Over Peyton. Again, the Lakers score. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. Coach Pop, the NBA all-time leader in win. They played the right way. And, of course, they exemplified the toughness and character of their leader, Coach Pop. And the Lakers making a change here. Westbrook's checked in. Over to the left wing. Westbrook against Fournier. Looking to win the run. And so the ball out of bounds. Fournier touched it last. Wright checked in for Los Angeles. It's all you, MP. You got this. Keep the shots coming, MP. Keep them coming. Los Angeles has gotten 21 points so far from three-point land. They're 7 of 10. So on the floor for the Spurs, they've got Evan Fournier. Also, Alfred Payton out there. Doug McDermott out there with Jakob Pertl. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Yeah, not just an impressive showing on offense, but on defense as well, executing their game plan perfectly. And they get it back. And for the Lakers, their shooting has been ridiculous. 75% of this game. The shot by James, no good. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. McDermott outside. Pass to Fournier. Fires for three. It doesn't go for him. And Los Angeles the other way now. You know, they beat the Spurs during their last encounter in San Antonio. They came away with an easy win last time, due in large part to their work on the glass. And if they can keep that same physicality, you have to think they'll be in a good position to go. Good job, Red. Shooting one. Too many looks. And you look at the career that LeBron has put together, one of the all-time greats, amazingly lived up to the hype he had coming out of high school. Hey guys, lights out in their last game against the Clippers put on a show. He picked up 33 points and a season high number of rebounds. An astounding game for him, putting up numbers we might be talking about for the rest of his career. Back to you. Thanks, Allie. Absolutely. He was a one man show in that one, Grant. Yeah. Wow. Elbow. Hey, Grant, you got see if the opposition looks to double him because this should open up opportunities for his teammates to get going. And he drops the first. And the immense pressure LeBron has had since day one of the NBA. 
Many others would have folded, Grant. Yeah, very true, B.A. The expectations he had were just insane. Anything less than a top five player all time would you be a, a disappointment. Throw, Coach, That's not fair to ask of any player coming into the league, much less a high schooler. Now here's Fournier. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Portland. Just an ugly show from him offensively. Yep, no way to describe it. Just ugly, and that hasn't helped. McDermott against James. They set a pick. From the left block, he sends it through. James has got five points now in the quarter. And this should come as no surprise. LeBron James is a ridiculous scorer, but this man also knows how to get cooking. Now here's Peyton. He's got seven. Yes, it's good. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Lights out. That's good. He's got 16. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Here's Peyton. There's the drive. And that's up and in. 5 for 12 in this game. Yeah, he was able to sneak it to the rim. Had enough room to get just like an easy layup. Pass to Davis. Here's lights out. Now James, defended by McDermott. Here's lights out. Offline with a three. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. So it'll be two free. And coach doesn't like the... One thing this does for a coach is let his players know he's got their back. If they're adamant that the call was wrong, he'll back them up and make the refs take another look. The ruling on the floor stands. And they've made their decision. The call will... Versus being injured? That's a great question, B.A. Look, sometimes as players, you need someone to protect them from themselves. Today's game, the teams today are so smart about protecting players and preventing... But it really comes down to the players, the doctors, the team overall, just being smart and having a big picture about the injuries. Here's Lights Out. He had a 33-point outing in their last game against the Clippers. And a big part of that was his aggressiveness drawing contact and getting to the line. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Now here's Peyton. Vassell's shot is good. Vassell's got six. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Here's James. That is now his seventh field goal in ten attempts. Impressive. San Antonio's gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. On the wing, Peyton. Twelve points for him. And it's blocked by Davis. Too much this, too much that, too much length from AD. Get that out of here. The 2020 Lakers winning it all in the Orlando bubble. A testament to LeBron James and that team. First one falls for him. You know, that 2020 bubble title for the Lakers. What made it so difficult? You know, B.A., the mental grind of all that time in the bubble. Three months in the same place. NBA players are used to being in four cities in a week. So it really was a different kind of challenge for them. Now here's Peyton. Pass to Pirtle. Now here's McDermott. 6 to shoot. 
Here's Sohan. Oh, Virilia Silva. The shot by Sohan, no good. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Inside. McDermott outside. Fires the three. Knocks down the long J. McDermott's got his first three points of the game. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. Here's Davis. That shot off the mark. Hurdle with some nice D. San Antonio has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Vassell passes to Payton. Here's Sohan. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Spurs need to get one up here. Let's go with a three. And it's going to be a 24-second violation. They turn it over. Still hear those who say, shut up and dribble. What are your thoughts about this? I think it's silly and it's unfortunate. And if you don't like it, then change the channel. But players today, matter of fact, everybody today has a voice through their social media channels. And it just so happens that NBA players have large platforms that reach people all over the world. Yeah, don't expect the players to be anything other than themselves. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Here's Peyton. Banked it in off the glass. Peyton's got seven now in this quarter. The Lakers have gotten seven of 12 shots to go here in the second. Down low, James. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Pass to Sohan. Outside Peyton. And he banks in the layup. Peyton's got 16 points now. He's had a rough start to this game, and that's being nice. But he's gotten back on track here in the second. Driving to the basket. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot. Smart whistle, ref. I like that call. Here in the second quarter. And we've seen the Spurs part ways with some of their best veterans. It really speaks to the talent at the top of the 2023 NBA draft. Savvy organizations like San Antonio will time their rebuilds to the years when the draft boasts some of those elite prospects. Beverly, he's checked in for Walker, and he makes both free throws. I don't even think he had one free throw before halftime, but he's making up for it here in the second. Pass to Vassell. Here's Primo. Six on the shot clock. Gets the three ball to go. They've got some ground to make up, and shooting the three ball more consistently, like they are now, should help them do it. Davis with it. Collins defending. From 12 feet, and he drops that one in. Six points for him. You pick a level, he'll show you how to get it done. And the mid-range happens to be one of them. Up top, Collins. Checked by Davis. Here's Roby. Rebounded by the Lakers. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. And it's James with the jam. Oh, my God. LeBron James with that, that, that power. Do you just feel the rim shake? San Antonio shooting 47% so far in the second. Here's Primo. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. That's an awful call. What did you see there, Rex? Then they had Will Chamberlain, Kareem, and then obviously we know what Shaq was able to do there. The Los Angeles Lakers, home to some of the greatest bigs of all time, Richard. Yeah, Wilt, Kareem, Shaq, Pau Gasol, the Lake Show winning titles with those large dudes, proving that size does matter in this league. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots.
And that's going to be a travel. Los Angeles has gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. Here's Davis. Out left to the wing. Picked it out of midair. On the wing, Vassell to the paint. Here's Roby. That one drops for him. Oh, nice feed. On time and on target. Los Angeles shooting the ball 70% on this game. Here's James. Oh, it's his 10th basket on 12 tries. You got to appreciate the efficiency here. His play just keeps getting better, clearly building on the foundation of that strong first quarter. Checked by James. Pass to Roby on the wing, Vassell. And here's Collins, just five to shoot. To the left side wing, Primo. Three-pointer, no good. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10-rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. And great. You decide Square to take the night And the Lakers off, making a change here. Well, vacation's over. Let's go. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. The Lakers on top, running away with it. We've got more in store for you right after this. Hello, everybody. Tipping off halftime, let's start things off with a look at the All-Star voting. It's the middle of All-Star voting. This is when I will make my way to the top of the list. Kenny wouldn't know anything about that. Actually, actually, Shaq, the producers are saying that Kenny is leading the studio All-Star voting. Thank you. Recount. Yes, that's it. That's in one city. You need to count all the cities up. And, guys... Huge surprise. LeBron with a great first half. Look, I got to praise what he's doing. Playing with power. Dominant in the lane. Almost looks as good as how I did. Almost. Very generous of you to heap that praise on him, big fella. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. We've got Anthony Davis, LeBron James out there with Ersan Ilyasova. Then it's Patrick Beverly, and it's lights out in at the point. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Peyton finds McDermott. The cell against Beverly. Oh, and he's shooting. That's an awful ball. What did you see there, Rex? Do extra playing time. Well, that's what it is. He's seeing more minutes on the floor, but he's also risen to the opportunity and shown that if you play him more, you're going to get more from him. Here's lights out. Davis, that's good. Davis has got eight points. Hey, I'm going to tell you a little secret. I'm not going to lie. I am happy I never had to guard AD. This guy has it all between the length, the touch, the smarts. He's got everything. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Here's Peyton following the score by the Lakers. Tries again. And the bucket by Pirtle. It's nice to see they're not settling for three-pointers. These guys are putting in the work inside. Pass to Davis. Over Pirtle. Again, the Lakers score. With a 7'6 wingspan, Anthony Davis can get that jumper off against anyone. Here's Sohan. Vassell outside. 
shoots over Beverly. It's wide right, hits off the rim. Good shot, gone bad. You gotta finish there. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the third quarter. James passes to Davis. The shot's good on the assist by James. 12 points for him. Setting each other up beautifully, I love it. Eight of their last 10 points coming off assist. Peyton. And Davis with the block. Peyton's shot is good. Peyton's got 19 points. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of three in the second half. Oh, it's stolen. Vassell outside. Pass to Peyton. Vassell against Beverly. Vassell's shot is good. When he decides he wants to take it to the bucket, it's really hard for anyone to slow him down. Here's lights out. Got it. Good job in the low post. He's got 25. They haven't missed a beat coming out of the locker room. A perfect four for four. Pass to Sohan. Back to Peyton. Let's a floater go. That one doesn't drop. Excellent D there from Davis. The Lakers have gone four of four in this third quarter. Perfect so far. Here's Lights Out. Guarded by Peyton. Beverly on the wing. And he lobs it up to the rim. Wow, they're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. Well, San Antonio's shooting a disappointing 38%. Here's Peyton. He takes it in. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Just magnificent. I mean, he punishes the D for a lackluster effort. They look a little disorganized there. The result is an emphatic jam. Yeah, when you're not locked in on defense, they will make you pay with an easy finish there. And so it's San Antonio with it. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. High arcing shot. Here's Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. Oh, nothing soft about that. Was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. And that's his MOB physical. Get in position for the putback and throw it down. The defense got to know that's what he's looking to do. Now, here is James. He's got 22. It's going to be on LeBron James. With the ball. And overall, I think they've done a good job limiting those slip-ups. And here is Peyton. He's got 21. Pass to Vassell. Launches a three. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. Out to the wing. Here's Lights Out, guarded by Peyton. Here's Lights Out. And he makes it on the layup. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. The Spurs have gone 6 of 13 to open up this second half. Beverly against Vassell. Pirtle with a screen on Beverly. And it's Vassell penetrating. Here's Pirtle. And it's in there. Pirtle's got 8. Rate of baskets assisted, it's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. James, outside. They set the screen. Pass the lights out. And it's blocked. What a play as he just snatches the shot out of midair. James against McDermott. Now here's Pirtle. LeBron with the rebound. James has got eight rebounds in the game. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. And they get it back. Now here's Peyton taking a look at his production. Averaging just over eight points a game. Pass to Sohan. And here's Peyton. Shot clock at six. 
Driving inside. Back to McDermott. Now Peyton. Hurdle in the post. Beverly defending. Hurdle with the bucket. Ten points for him. The way they've hit the offensive boards in the second half, you would think they're the team that's leading. And Richard, the Spurs trying to rebuild without bottoming out. That's one of the hardest things to do. In He's got a lot of injury. Group out there. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth quarter here. So on the floor for the Spurs. Evan Fournier is out there with Alfred Payton. Then there's Isaiah Roby. Then there's Zach Collins. On offense, here is San Antonio. Here's lights out. The rebound by the Spurs. Collins has got eight rebounds in the game. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Lakers. This team did a lot of things well tonight. Number one was passing the ball. And it was a team that was in rhythm. And they just trusted each other to take the right shot. This game pushes them to 49 wins. They had their number all year long. That 4-0 record says it all. They had the advantage in every crucial area. And what a huge performance it was for LeBron James. And his playmaking is what stood out to me. Effortlessly creating for his teammates. Grant, when you see players make that leap from star to superstar, think about guys like Giannis and Jason Tatum. I mean, what is that step like? You did it. Well, it's interesting. You know, you come into the league and, and, and you have success right away. But at some point, everything just clicks. It could be year four, year five, year six, usually in that window where now you figure things out and now you take that next step and become elite. Now, B.A., you know, I'm hoping that things start to click with me and my golf game. It's been about four <laughs> or five years there, too. Superstar status is not in the cards for you on the golf course, Grant. <laughs> Here's Roby. Soft touch off the glass. That's what speed and agility will do for you. Big time play. Shot and game clock separated by five. Lights out. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. Vassell against Westbrook. 16 feet out. Rebound by the Lakers. Lights out. That's good. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort, and they were just dominant out there. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you later.